Hello, welcome to the third session for the CBSC Net Psychology Paper Analysis for Paper 3rd. We'll be covering the third section today. So let's start with the first set of questions here. The very first question is based on assertion reason. As I have previously mentioned, that we have covered a lot of uh, assertion reason solving methodologies in a separate class. So you can refer that class for better understanding on how to solve the assertion reason questions. Now for this question, there are two statements. The first statement explains what is perception. Okay, so under perception, what do we basically study is uh, how to keep the appearance of the object same despite of the fact that there is change in some stimulus. So that's the basic definition of uh, how we understand perception. Okay, the second statement talks about the posterior part and the interior part of the brain. So when we try to understand the concept of uh, perception, there are three elements. You have the posterior part of the brain that is involved, the interior part of the brain that is uh, involved, and the uh, right and the left hemisphere, so which governs the arousal. Okay. So the posterior part of the brain, as it said, selects the basis of location, shape, and color, and the interior part is responsible for guiding that process. Okay. So both the statement here are correct, but reason does not explain the assertion. So the correct answer would be B, that both assertion and reason are true and reason does not explain the assertion. The next question is, social psychology mainly, mainly focuses on. So, so, so social psychology is a branch of psychology that deals with how people deal in a situation their thoughts and behaviors and their surroundings. So the correct answer is social psychology focuses on people and their thoughts. So the correct choice would be D here. Now the next question is a question based on Selman's friendship stages. So Selman was a, a person who uh, tried to gain concepts from Piaget. Okay, and in, in his constructive theory, try to understand what are the various stages. So he said, as the child grows and develops, there are various stages he come across. So the first stage is momentary playmateship, where uh, he, he or she would be playing with children, okay? And that would be, the association would be kind of uh, momentary association, okay? Usually in the age of three to seven years, then he tries to develop one-way assistance from four to nine years, Okay, then once he has gained one way assistance, they try to cooperate with one another. And that stage exists from six to 12 years. It's a kind of cooperative behavior. Once they start cooperating, they try to share relationship. Okay, and that's from 12 to, uh, you can say 15 years. And 15 onwards, there is autonomous interdependence where they try to become much more uh, self-dependent, but they have interdependence for uh, various uh, different perspectives of life. Okay, so that's what is uh, the correct order. So the correct choice here would be C. So these are and this was a direct question on the various stages given by Selman. The next question is memory problems mainly associated with dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, is typically. Now, Alzheimer's disease is a classic form of dementia or the most common form of dementia. Okay. And the main problem with Alzheimer's is they have the inability to acquire or remember new memories. Okay. So whatever is new would not stay. Okay, so that happens in enterograde amnesia. So the correct answer here would be enterograde amnesia. If we try to understand Alzheimer's in detail, we'll see when there is the kind of memory loss. The first loss is of the episodic memory. Then you have the short term memory that is lost. And finally, you have the uh, semantic and the procedural memory that is lost. Okay, so that's the correct order of loss of memory in Alzheimer's. Now, problem solving involves various stages and what's the correct sequence for that? So under problem solving, uh, we have a direct set of uh, stages. So we say there is a stage of preparation. Then is an the incubation or the starting phase. You have illumination phase and finally you try to verify the facts. So the correct answer here is C. We'll be covering this in more detail on a separate session where we'll be talking about problem solving and creativity.
The next question is, which one of the following theories predict that work motivation will be low if employee perceives that increased effort will have little or no effect on his performance? What does that mean? That means that if a person is putting in more during his work, okay, and he is seeing that he is not giving, getting enough reward for that, or uh, his performance is not appreciated for that, that means his motivation will tend to decrease. And that is what is understood as the expectancy theory. Wow. So the correct answer here would be C, that is the expectancy yes. theory. Okay, the next question here asks about in the Piaget's stages of development, in which stage object permanence develops? So that's again a very direct question from the uh, Piaget's theory of development. So object permanence starts in sensory motor stage where the person has a, a kind of permanent image in the mind. Okay, so if he sees his grandparents for one day, okay, and he meets after two months, he'll have an object uh, object permanence in his mind, understanding that these are my grandparents. Okay, so the correct answer here is A. Now the next question, it's a very tricky question. Okay, what is this executive syndrome? This executive syndrome is you have unability to take decisions, you are easily distracted, and you have a tendency towards per uh, perseveration. Okay, so these are all this executive function. So that's a correct statement. Individuals with extensive injuries to the temporal lobe show deficit in executive function. That's incorrect because this executive syndrome is related to frontal lobe. So frontal lobe is one that governs the dis-executive syndrome. So the correct answer here would be assertion is true and the reason is false. Okay, so you have assertion as true and reason is false. So C is the correct choice here. Okay, now let's move on to this question. This question is a very important question. That's question again based on research methodology. So here, uh, what the uh, examiner is trying to say is, a psychologist want to study marital love between husband and wife in arranged and love marriages. So you have types of marriage here, okay? And you have uh, gender here, or I should say sex here. So you have husbands and wives here, okay? And you have the type of marriage that is arranged marriage and love marriage, okay? So it's a kind of two by two factorial. Okay, so the first thing here is it's a factorial design, that's for sure. And between all these four parameters, what the uh, examiner is trying to understand is the uh, level of marital love. Okay, now what is the four possibilities? Uh, uh, you will study arranged marriage husbands, you will study arranged marriage wife, love marriage husbands and love marriage wives. Okay, so these are the four cases that you will study. Okay, and there are 50 cases of couples, both love marriage and arranged marriage, which would be administered here. So what kind of data should be analyzed? Now, this is a classic example of what is known as the mixed factorial ANOVA. Okay, so under mixed factorial ANOVA, what you are trying to do is, you try to understand two or more independent variables with at least one in each subject and at least one in within the group subject, okay? The next question is, you have to match following questions. So uh, what we would be doing here is, you will be matching the role and the description. So what, uh, what we have to do is, a disseminator is one who transmits the information to different members of the organization, okay? So for disseminator, you have the correct choice is one that's transmitting information to different members of the organization. Then you have a liaison that maintains a network of outside contacts, that maintains a network of outside contacts who provide favors and information to the organization, okay? So liaison matches with three. Then you have negotiator who tries to take responsibility for representing the organization at major transactions. So you have two as the correct option. And finally, you have an entrepreneur who searches around the opportunities and starts for innovative projects. So that's the correct explanation for these. We'll be covering the next set of the question in the next class. Till then, have a good day ahead.